वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फाइनली कन्फर्म विंडोज इलेवन टू फोर एज टू विल बी टर्निंग ऑन द डिवाइस इनक्रिप्शन बाई डिफॉल्ट नाउ बाई डिफॉल्ट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इट मीन द नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड यू विल बी इंस्टॉलिंग अ फ्रेश कॉपी ऑफ विंडोज इलेवन टू फोर एज टू द डिवाइस इनक्रिप्शन विल बी ऑटोमेटिकली इनेबल ऑन योर डिवाइस बेसिकली आई कैन से वेन यू विल बी अपग्रेडिंग फ्रॉम विंडोज टेन और विंडोज इलेवन टू टू एज टू और टू थ्री एज टू the feature will not be automatically enabled now the problem is that in my last 8 year i have seen many people having the issues with the bit locker where they enable it either to encrypt any kind of drive to secure the data or encrypt their entire operating system drive so that no one else can access their device but i have seen tons of people forgetting their bit locker pin and even the recovery code and so they lose all their data as they don't find no other option to fix it now this can be really complicated for the older people or who are not that kind of tech savvy as it's not easy for them to remember this kind of recovery password of bitlocker which is 48 digit number and created by microsoft only now let me make it more clear for you so that you can better understand so if you look over some videos on the youtube that how to turn off the bitlocker without the recovery key you will find many videos with lot of views and that basically indicate that many people are having this kind of issues and that's why they are searching this problem on the youtube now if you look over the like and the dislike ratio so you will find that majority of the people are disliking the video because they are not getting the proper solution it's not basically a problem with the video or with the creator it's problem with this bit locker only where we don't have any proper solution for this and now let's understand that why basically people enable the bit locker now enabling the bit locker is stop the people to access your device or drive physically and when we talk about physically that means the person need to be nearby to the device and if anyone has to steal any of your data or computer they have other option as well like they can remove your ssd or hard drive whatever you are using and then they can take out the data using any kind of third party software and even they can use any kind of live operating system like of kali they can boot it and then they can grab the data that you have inside your ssd or the hard drive so exactly what i mean that the bit locker security is good but not that good because as there are a lot of drawback of using the bit locker especially when microsoft is forcing you to enable the bit locker by default but as i said that this device encryption is not that bad and it can be really good for the people who are doing some kind of business and if they want to encrypt their partition their data or the entire operating system now let me give you an example here so someone who want to steal your data or device they probably know that what they get from your device and mostly they target any kind of business where they know that they can get some kind of important data or any kind of detail and so of course they will not be attacking any kind of device that is only used for some normal browsing or doing some kind of normal gaming or managing some kind of basic data okay so let's get back to the current update as i said windows 11 24h2 update will be turning on the bit locker automatically so your drive will be also encrypted and chances are that you will lose your data in case if you forget the bit locker recovery password So again if you are a normal user if you don't have any kind of important data that you want to encrypt or if you are not scared that somebody will come to your computer and steal it then there is no need to enable the bit locker so personally i have been telling many of my customer and my known people to don't use the bit locker encryption until they really need such kind of feature and also if they are sure that they can keep the recovery password somewhere safe so that they should not forget it and that is the reason i also created a video so that i can also let you know that kindly do not go with the bit locker option until and unless you really need it and you understand it and now you might be having the question in your mind that what to do the next time when you will be fresh installing the newer version of windows 11 that is 24h2 how to bypass this option or how to skip it There is an easy way to bypass this automatic device encryption while installing the Windows 11. So the next time while installing the Windows 11 24H2, once you come to this addition page, now here only you have to press the Shift along with the F10 key from your keyboard, and this will bring up the command prompt. Type here R E G E D I T. 
hit the enter key and this will bring up the registry editor now here you have to come to this path of hk local machine then you have to go to the system current control set control and then you have to look for the bit locker so once you come to the bit locker on the right hand side you have to make a right click hover up to new choose dot 32 bit value and then you have to rename it as prevent with the p capital device with the d capital encryption with the e capital once you have created make a double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok and now you're all done now you can close the registry editor and the command prompt and now you can proceed with the installation and it will not be automatically enabling the device encryption so that's all guys for today and this is exactly what i recommend majority of my viewer that kindly ignore the BitLocker device encryption until and unless you really need it and you are very sure that you can remember the BitLocker pin and the recovery password or else you will be also losing entire data as there is not any easy solution to fix this kind of problem and hopefully guys you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye